Hello everyone, uh, this is Ezekiel here from Talos Drones, located here in Riverside, California. In front of us, we have a disassembled uh, Agres uh, DJI battery cooler for the T40 batteries. If you purchase a T40 from us, um, in the case will come this disassembled battery cooler. For this video, I just want to show you how to assemble your battery cooler. So you will have all of this in the box, except well, the tools, of course. And um, the screws for all of this will actually be inside your uh, controller case. So let me show you. And inside you'll have a case Right here, right now, it's empty because I have all of them outside, but they'll be inside a little bag like this. And the tools that you will need to assemble this battery cooler will be a 2.5 millimeter, uh, let's see if it focus, hex screwdriver or any type of hex tool that you want, and a 3 millimeter screwdriver. That's why you need just these two tools to assemble everything. So these two are your side pieces that will go on your side and they already come mostly built. It's just connecting them. So this is our bottom piece. This will connect to both sides um, to, our bo to both sides right here. And this is already pre-built like this. So all you're gonna do is pretty much grab these two pipes right here and connect them to these two holes right here. So we run down like this. And it just slides right onto it. And then we grab the other side. And we do the same thing on this side. There we go. Now in the bag, you'll have one of these screws see if you guys can see it screws like this and a nut let's see if i can focus like this and this will be your two pieces that connect so to connect all of this you will need a total of eight screws and nuts the nuts or the screws no, I was correct. The nuts will go right here to these little pieces. There's more on that side and back here. And the, the screw will go from the inside out. So I have my screw right here. And I will place it in here. So let me do it from here, from this side, since it's easier. And it will just, you have to feel it around, make sure it, goes through so I put one in here we grab another of our screw and nut and we place it we rotate this way on this side so same thing the, the screw goes from the inside out and the nut goes into this housing just holds it in place but be patient with when you put in the screw because it is a little bit tedious. You just have to feel, you have to adjust, try to figure out where the hole is. Sometimes you have to spin this piece around to get the hole lined up. But once you do,
goes right in. And then you put your nut. Put your nut. Gonna flip it over. There we go. So we're missing a screw here, screw here, 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 and here. cool thing about this gap, this nut housing, is that it holds it in place. So, when you grab your hex tool, you just hold the nut here and start tightening. Tighten to the right, you loosen to the left. Tighten to the right. When you're done with that, you have almost finished. You're almost completely done. So we have two connections right here. And this, the round connections, are going to go to this piece right here. This is put separately in your T40 uh, box. And it has holes right here and these would line up to the holes on the connections so you put one in put the connection in it's a little snug and you carefully put in and there you go you line up the holes right here and they're the exact same type of screw that we used for the corners on the bottom on the base but the nut housing you see one is on the bottom and one is on the top so you're going to grab one of these your screws put it from the top down and just feel from the bottom up on this side Boom. and then grab the same nuts that we use for the base and put one in here and this nut housing will hold the nut so you won't have to be struggling Right here are going to be little brackets where this rectangle frame will just sit down on. Let me show you how that goes. Go right here and it just sits right on. Now these, this uses different screws. So these are chromed screws, hex screws, they're still hex, three millimeter, and the one you use is two. It's two on each side. So now, everything is nice and tight. Nice and firm. So, this side will be the back of your battery cool. And on this side will be.
be the front of your battery pool. Now in the front is where your where where you will have your your fans installed. So your fans, let me show you the type of screws that they use. There will be two screws on top that go right here. And they will be similar to the screws that you used on the corners to put in this frame. And it will also have four more screws here, 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 here on the corners in the front. And they will use chromed screws, but a little bit smaller. Let's see if it can focus. Smaller than the previous chromed screws. So we're using four small chrome screws for the front and two big chrome ones on the top. So you just like try to line up the holes and place your screws. Not all the way because you still want to adjust in case you want to or you have to adjust the holes right here. It's just so it won't fall down. Also, these actually use a two and a half millimeter hex. So we use a two and a half millimeter hex screw. And that one fits just right. So you have your screws come in and you just screw them in, not all the way, just so you can be able to put all the screws in their location without any issue. I forgot to mention that these screws actually have a little black uh, washer right here. So you know which ones for the front. So now that they're all lined up correctly, you can start snugging them up nicely. And the top are three millimeter. Start snugging it. You finish tightening them up. And with that, you have successfully built your T40 battery cooler station. Let's take a look at how on the sides. As I mentioned this is the back. Thank you guys for watching.